Hey, pals. In the backdrop is the physical structure of the 2023 Model Y. And I solely require a single body to demonstrate the inaccuracy of comparing any currently available automobile in the entire world with the innovations and achievements of Tesla. There's no way Tesla and other car manufacturers can even be in the same league. Of course, as cars, we will compare and we will talk about differences and we will touch on many other things besides this body. What causes delight here and why, while watching this video, you will understand how wrong you were when other car manufacturers try to deceive you by offering a large number of unnecessary options, just to throw dust in your eyes and confuse you. So, naturally, there is currently no one with a supercharger network like Tesla's supercharger network. You'll have an easier time traveling. That's obvious, a clear plus. Besides, these are the most convenient stations because you don't have to run around like a headless chicken trying to get power from the cord. That's how you should do it near any station, any car manufacturer. Some screen, you enter something there, then it tries to enter something to you. You can skip everything by just using supercharge. Next up, of course, is autopiloting. What is autopiloting? It's not like the car drives itself. Although it's a really nice feature when the car drives itself and we've shown that. There's also this thing called safety. And every time, with every update, your car becomes safer. What a solid body. We talked its coolness, but what are its actual benefits? What this gives to Tesla, it's clear. Tesla is becoming a more efficient car manufacturer. But what benefits does that provide us as consumers? Well, you see, the body is more rigid. It's made up of a smaller number of parts. And let's logically determine what this can provide us. Well, fewer parts means, of course, fewer scripts, fewer crickets, more effort to twist. Your panoramic roof won't crunch when driving over a bump. We've been listening to you in Alexis. You drive over a bump, and it feels like one glass is about to break another glass if you have a sliding roof. You won't have anything like that happening to you. A bunch of panels that are stitched together with welding, and often it's glue and bolts. Recently we were shooting at the exhibition, I walked around all the car novelties, and Volkswagen there unveiled the body of their ID.4 crossover completely. Volkswagen boldly shows the technology, which is exactly what it is. I didn't enter, didn't climb into Palzavaga, and didn't examine the display's quality. For Tesla, display quality is top priority. I haven't started watching to assess convenience of multimedia usage. Not about tech, it's about choices. And here's the thing, it's the tech they show. They disassembled the body of their ID.4, and I observed that all the components were assembled from individual pieces. In 2024, when you show off your ride, it's got to look exactly like this. That's exactly how she should look. Tech, it's beautiful, elegant, like a gorgeous home, a beautiful work of art. When an architect devises something and it appears aesthetically pleasing, and it is user-friendly and convenient to utilize. It is one thing when we crash and we have a large number of parts all cut together, and it is another thing when we crash and this specific part. It flies in an intact manner without any damage. Can you imagine? A lot of people used to think that a truly safe car is a big car, but that perception is changing. This car is capable of driving right through a Toyota Sequoia, just like that. Takes a Toyota Sequoia and drives through it, at a certain speed, naturally. Feeling more secure in this vehicle, you can drive a bit faster since the car itself feels more stable on the road, allowing for a slight increase in speed while maintaining a sense of safety. Some of you may wonder, how am I gonna fix it? It just so happens we try to look far ahead at developments. In the event of a car crash, we will be faced with a multitude of wrecks lying ahead of us, posing a significant challenge and potential danger. This is an area where parking is not permitted. Then the area where evacuation is projected to take place can be found at this location. And here we have a jack stand. So, if we drive in the middle, everything here can get squished all the way up to this bumper. No blow will pass here anymore. And this part, it's done to dampen our strike. What can happen to the long run? Oh, he can totally crack and fall apart. This car here is banged up, as you can see. 
And what transpired with regard to the incident? Where do we perceive visible signs of impact in the frontal area of the vehicle? When a car gets into an accident, we replace all the parts that got damaged. Let's measure here. If our geometry does not match, we simply take that part and make the necessary changes to it. This part costs $5,000, just like that. But damaging this part so that you understand is tough. So basically, they have to hit with the train at least, so she just explodes. If I happen to have an accident, I would like to be in this car or in a similar car. I absolutely would not want to find myself in Rivian, Zikr, or any other company. Among them, some awesome cars I'm really excited to film, I'm really excited to ride. Some of them, I am certain, are pleasant to have on a daily basis, nice to sit down, they will provide delight with some LED backlighting, and so on and so forth. However, from a technological perspective, regrettably, there is no advancement or development at this time. There are rumors that they will be releasing something there, showing some versions of autopilots and so on. But the autopilot, which collects information from thousands of cars every day, all this goes into the neural network, and this neural network is optimized and sends you an update to your car. No such thing. Solid body? No. Is there any car safer than a Tesla? No. And most of the people who say that Tesla's technologies are outdated, and be sure to send this video to one of your buddies. I'm sure you've got them. It's not just that. When you talk about technologies, you just don't understand what technologies are and what options are. Technology is something that you and I, here we are, will not have the ability to recreate. This is something rather substantial. So what are the available options? We recently completed a project called Tesla Gulling, and it was quite remarkable. This is one of the priciest Tesla cars globally. I believe nothing has surpassed the cost of Tesla cars so far. What happened to this car? The thing is, we took a Tesla car and equipped it with so many options that Tesla doesn't provide from the factory. So, we gained the body, the coupe, we completely redid the interior, we relocated the display slightly, the pedal unit slightly. What else can we add to this car? We can add a massage, we've already added upward opening doors there, we can make these doors automatic, we can make seat ventilation, we can make a huge display, just put a display on the entire glass. We can place displays, well, even 15 in the Arcoupe. We can scatter them everywhere. LED backlight already installed, beautiful LED backlight looks amazing. Electronic locks and everything else already in place. Plus, there are already a ton of options included with Tesla straight from the factory, which makes this project stand out above all the other electric cars coming out this year. All of the things that we see at the present moment at the car exhibition in Shanghai, all of the things that Lucid recently presented are brand new additions. All of the options that I observed, there are different choices that we can consider if we decide to purchase any of the available cards. We can enhance and augment it by integrating any combinations, solutions that are presently provided by third-party automobile manufacturers in the market. So, what can we not do together? Let us say, here's this particular kind of body. It appears to be the case, doesn't it? However, what does this body symbolize? Is this merely an insignificant individual, huh? However, in order to accomplish this task, you will require a Jigapress machine. And a gigapress is approximately half the size of this enormous building structure. This is what it takes. And in theory, you have the possibility to purchase this gigapress. Purchase, pour aluminum into the designated area and shape it accordingly. However, the issue lies in the fact that the composition of this material is currently known only by Tesla. Take a look, you won't see anything like this from any car manufacturer. To make this part, you gotta spend a long time setting up this mega press. And that's precisely what Tesla did. So, there's no issue at all in making a giga press. If you, for example, Volkswagen or Audi, then you have problems. Your factories built 20, 30, and 15 years ago, five years ago, need to pay off. Sometime, there are investors. These investors are waiting for a return on their investments, waiting for interest, and so on. Can't say, well, Look, world has changed. Need to throw all this away. We'll be installing Gigapress. 
That is the reason why these things are presently not accessible for the majority of automotive manufacturers. And this technology is quite straightforward if you explain it using only two words. In a nutshell, you can explain three details. Because there's a catch here, you see. One, this is the whole front part. Part two, that's the whole back part. So she's the same. Just as beautiful, solidly cast. Everything is absolutely fine here. You see, here is the second part of the story. And where's the third part? The third part is the battery. Just so you know, there's no restroom here. And when someone shows you a modern electric car with a floor, it's like, well, you can immediately understand that the individuals who designed this car either constructed it on a gasoline-powered cart or simply didn't give much thought to why a car with a battery located on the roof would require a floor. So, turns out at least two metal sheets are on top. Here we see Rivian, a gorgeous car. Great tech, everything smooth, rides nicely, all good. But why'd they drop in price when the Cybertruck came out? Because if we put in the effort, we will be able to make Rivian happen, you know? We will just buy some LG batteries, we will buy engines, we will spend a lot of money and a lot of time to optimize it, because it has been done pretty well in Rivian. But we won't make a solid cast face, a solid cast, but we won't put a battery there, because those are completely different investments, completely different technologies. And I am uncertain whether we will be able to locate an investor who is willing to allocate that kind of monetary funds for our scientific experiments. This is the global problem. It is crucial to never mix up technologies and options. This car has many options, but the technology is all here, like in a car such as Cybertruck. And we'll see you in the next video. We are looking for technologies, not options.